It feels like it has been years since I've done one of these monster animal mashups. So let's get in and let's do a, another monster animal mashup. And I'm pretty sure we're up to number 17. So as always, let's find out what the mammal is. Okay, we have a moose. All right, what uh, one of these things is going to be mixed with that moose? Oh wow, we have a chameleon. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. These just keep getting weirder and weirder. And I'm, I'm sort of a little bit gun shy at the moment because the last one that I did didn't work out. It was actually quite a, a monstrosity. So let's see if I can redeem myself with this one. So this is the mythical fairy tale make-believe element that this thing's going to have. Oh, it's going to have an element of a banshee, okay. Now, is this thing, this is the decider, is this thing going to be cute or is this thing going to be a complete evil monster? And the cute doesn't also, like the cute also can mean like something nice, something pleasant, um, you know, something that's, you know, for, uh, for protecting uh, beings, so yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. I'll just give it another shake. We got the cute tag. So this means that this creature is going to be a nice creature. It's not going to be a harmful, terrible creature. So we have, let's do a recap. We have a moose and a chameleon as the main two things that will be combined together to make the animal. Then there's going to be just an element of a banshee and then we have to make this thing cute, nice, you know, something that's not harmful. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what I can come up with and hopefully I can redeem myself more than last time. I use my paper mill uh, A5 paper for this illustration today because I have been wanting to uh, use this for a while since I did uh, the um, paper haul video and uh, like it's it's okay I'm it's not my favorite paper uh, but it does the job and that's the main thing uh, so like I'm not a big fan of the feel of it so yeah that's the reason why but hey I really 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 enjoyed how the paint the, the watercolor paint spread across and got these beautiful ble bleeds all in this animal when I applied all the watercolor to it so yeah I was very very happy with that side of things it allowed me to do that but yeah the, the overall feel of this paper not a huge 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 fan of it so yeah I would I would never buy this paper again uh, so I really kept this illustration oh it's it's really simple like there's nothing uh, very exciting with this piece um, I was just feeling something really 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 simple uh, because I've been doing some really uh, bigger pieces lately and the uh, the New Year's uh, what do you call it the um, video that I did for 
um, the, all the diseases over history sort of took it out of me a little bit. So yeah, I took this time to just do a, a lighter piece and not do anything very fancy. And I've been really struggling with these monster animal mashups lately. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've, um, I just really wanted to uh, just keep it so, so simple this time. So yes, I apologize for the lack of detail in this creature, but yeah, I, uh, I just needed to do something not as labor intensive and that's exactly what I did. But yeah, this guy was, uh, he was a little bit hard to sort of brainstorm and, and sort of mash a moose and a chameleon together. So I took elements uh, from, you yeah, know, obviously each of them and I put the elements uh, where I thought was right for me. Yeah, so simple, uh, you know, this didn't take me too long to whip up and yeah, I just chilled doing this. It was, it was really fun and I just, the biggest thing about this piece is I really focused on that bleed of, um, of the brown and that aqua color and I think that looks just really, really, really cool. I just love I love the way that that looks and um, yeah I don't I don't uh, do enough of that and I really 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 should so yeah I might try and make it a habit in this series to try and do more of these um, animals with that sort of really bleed uh, that bleedy sort of real cool effect but yeah I've got really nothing uh, else to say about this piece um, yeah it's uh, other than the, the creature is, uh, is very, uh, it doesn't harm anybody. It's a nice creature and every time it opens its mouth to grab food like an insect or it wants to eat something, it lets out this banshee sound which stuns the prey and it's able to eat and uh, yeah, that's how it lives. But uh, as far as um, harming, other beings uh, and humans. It's a very, very friendly animal, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's the that's the only story I have for this. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have all the hashtags if you want to participate with this prompt, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.